Twelve months ago, one of the key priorities of Jersey's top civil servant, Charlie Parker, was to restructure and streamline the public sector. That caused uncertainty over jobs. And later, amid anger over pay, civil servants and teachers walked out in a series of strikes. In the third of our special series, The State of Jersey, exploring the government's top priorities, Daniel Skip takes a look at the modernisation of the island's biggest single employer. Since starting his role in 2017, one of Charlie Parker's big objectives has been to restructure Jersey's public sector. We are finished being patient. We are finished being understanding. But during a time when many teachers, nurses and civil servants already feel they are being underpaid, the idea of change hasn't gone down well. Tensions have been rising since last summer when the government offered pay deals to much of the public sector, which unions didn't like. After ballots for strike action, civil servants were the first to walk out of their offices in December. There's no um, plan coming forward to explain to staff how they're going to fit into the new organisation. Um, it's basically being made up as it goes along. Um, we're seeing large numbers of very good, very skilled and qualified people leaving the organisation because they don't want to be part of it any longer. Teachers say it's a similar story for them too. In March, they too took to the streets to demand higher pay. Although Charlie Parker isn't involved in the pay negotiations, teaching staff say they are disappointed by his lack of involvement during a time which has felt uncertain. I mean, if you look at this place, Holier, Nick Fall is the head there. At the end of the day, he is out in the corridor, outside reception, meeting and greeting all his students. That's the sort of behaviour you would expect a chief executive of Jersey to be doing with his stuff. Today I put those concerns about communication to the Chief Minister, who's still locked in pay negotiations with some of the unions. A lot of the feeling I get from speaking to state workers on the ground is that they feel that Charlie Parker hasn't really had a presence. They don't feel like he's, he's there speaking with people day to day. Is that fair? Um, I don't think it's entirely fair. I think, uh, I know speaking to Charlie that he is aware and what he's seeking to do is to actually uh, get a bit more engagement um, with states members, with states workers and actually with the public So as there well. is some truth to so that. that. Well, I think the point is, is that um, what he's been focusing on is trying to get the organisational change through and that is his main job as well as running the organisation. We were told today that Charlie Parker is planning to hold a series of talks with states workers at the Opera House very soon. Whilst this opens up the opportunity for more clarification, many will go into this apprehensive, worried what impact the second year of his big plan will have on their career. Daniel Skip, ITV News.